Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO, coming back at you with another video. And this video is for, sorry if I butcher your name, but this is in reference to a comment left by Mauricio Barahona. Again, my apologies if I got your name wrong, but he was asking me to do the Worship Extreme um, setup on a Mac. So the first thing that you need, I actually want to thank my friend Calvin Callahan for letting me borrow his Mac so I can do this video. Um, but the first thing that you need with Worship Extreme Whatever system you use always has to be able to support dual screens. So it's one screen for you to view, another screen to be pushed out for the uh, presentations to be made. So his didn't have any, um, I needed an adapter first off to connect it to my TV, projector, whatever you're gonna use. So I ended up picking up this little mini display port to HDMI adapter, which will connect to the side of the MacBook so that I can connect it to my video switcher, which will also be your TV, projector, whatever. So again, thanks to Calvin for that. And I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description of where I got this for. This is um, maybe $19. Um, I was able to get this. So let's go ahead and jump into the Mac so that we can see what Worship Extreme looks like. All right, so first off, I downloaded Worship Extreme, which is pretty straightforward, and I have it here on the desktop. But now that I have my dual um, screen set up, let's go ahead and go up here to your display preferences. So right now, I am mirroring the output that's going to my ATEM switcher or this will be your projector or whatever you have set up, mainly so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's go here to our display preferences first. All right, so as you can see, it's using the black magic on my switcher as the default configuration that it's gonna look at. Um, the first thing you wanna make sure is that you want to make sure if we go to arrangement, we have it, it's defaultly set that you want to mirror displays. You don't want to do that. You want to actually have them as independent displays. So when I do this, you won't, you'll only be able to see my secondary screen um, while I have this. But let's go ahead and bring up Worship Extreme before I do that. All right, we're here on Worship Extreme now. And as you can see, it's carried over all of our settings. Um, because it is a cloud-based software, so it doesn't matter if you're PC or Mac. And remember, we have our secondary screen connected with our mini display port out to HDMI, which is connected to our video switcher, which will also be your TV, your projector, whatever secondary screen that you would have. All right, so let's go up here to our settings, the gear, and then settings. And we want to go to our screen configuration. Now again, remember, it's not showing here because we have our other screen set as mirror. So let's I'm going to go through the full configuration before I switch that over so you can see. So all you really have to do is let's open up our let's display preferences here at the top. Use this as use as a separate display. So now our secondary display is automatically set. Now we're on the secondary display. So now as you can see, since we have our secondary display connected, we have our main screen is where we're gonna see everything. And then display number two or the output that's connected to our switcher projector is going to be our display all you have to do is pick which one you're going to do and that's going to be on this one right here i just click on that so now the screen i was showing you is now the display so let me move the app back on this side so i can actually see it now that we've set our display now we can just simply turn that display on and we just click on our cube just like we would on anywhere else. And as you can see on our secondary screen, we have output and the same way if we went to lyrics or song, and we'll press the arrow keys or click on the mouse on each one. And all the other trainings and tutorials will work the exact same way, all dependent on the level of access that you have. So I hope that helps. Um, really simple. You just got to make sure when you have your secondary display, you have to have it set up not as a mirror, but have it set up as a separate display. 
This is AJ the CEO. Hope you like these type of videos. If do, do me a favor, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos and we'll catch you later.